Lava Soup when I'm playing Void too long, didn't read LMAMO Void Terrarium 2 demo version. <coughs> supposed to be a, a dungeon crawler. What did it say this was? I think it looks a lot like an RPG. Yeah, it says it's an RPG dungeon crawler. Looks a lot like inspired by Japanese anime. <coughs> I didn't even press start and I can control the character. Check in with me, me babysitter here. Robbie, Robbie, could you come here for a moment? Talk to the voice, Robbie. What happened to the start menu? That's cool. Oh, I'm a dog. <clears throat> I need a drink. So we're Robbie the dog. <coughs> Futuristic sci-fi world. That <coughs> the villain of the first one they, was Cloud AI. I know this is a little sudden, but an important anniversary is coming soon. Do you know what it's for? <coughs> you don't? Oh, Robbie, you still have so much to learn. It's the anniversary of the first time we ever met Tariko. Tariko. Oh. God. That's right, it's cause for celebration. When we first met Tariko, she was covered in contaminants and on the brink of death. Then we created a terrarium and maintained the ideal environment for keeping her alive. We cured diseases and protected her. Those sure were some tough times, huh? It really takes me back. So I think we should celebrate this great anniversary with a party! What do you say? Yay! I knew if anyone would agree, it would be you, Robbie. Now, according to my research, humans are used humans used to create fun atmospheres for such events. That's why I think it would be apt to place a number of fun objects in the terrarium to create a fun atmosphere. The only problem is we don't have a single fun object in our possession. But never fear, I have prepared an assortment of fun-filled blueprints. I'll transmit the data to you right now. <coughs> Looks like we're all robots. The robot has acquired blueprints from Factory AI. Go on then, get crafting! Press triangle to open the home menu. The home menu features options related to item crafting in the terrarium. Additionally, functions for powering up the robot will be added over time. Start off now for now by opening the home menu to access the cra item crafting function. Wow, this is a lot more than you'd expect from looking at I mean, it does have a weird looking font and symbols, and it looks like programming language in the title. <clears throat> but they mention nothing of crafting and base building. Craft a balloon. I've always looked at this game and thought it was interesting. I never realized what it was. Item craft. Use resources at your home to craft a variety of items. Items you bring back from the expedition are converted into resources when you return from the wasteland. General resources, all items are converted into one of four types of resources, organic, inorganic, energy, and contaminated. Which resources you'll obtain are found in the item description. Balloon. Objective. Great, great balloon. Craft balloon. Some terrarium objects give off a certain vibe. Placing multiple objects with the same vibe can change the mood of the terrarium. The atmosphere inside the terrarium can affect Toriko's behavior, among other things. <clears throat> Done. Craft balloon. Not enough resources to craft the balloon. Talk to factory AI. <clears throat> Great! You managed to craft some really colorful and cute objects for the terrarium! Hmm. Still, it seems like we're lacking a bit of flair. The more the merrier, right? Robots have acquired blueprints from Factory AI. I'd like you to craft these too. Oh, but it looks like you're all out of resources. You'll just have to head out to the wasteland and collect everything you need. 
So you can get to the wastelands via that exit over there. But of course, you already knew that. I always get so carried away. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm counting on you to craft some more fun objects for the party, Robbie. System menu. Open the system menu by pressing option. The system menu allows you to save or load game data. View your progression via the quest screen. Read in-game explanations via the archives and more. Craft a small plushie. <laughs> we got a store a vault. Crafted items and food are stored in the vault. Select an item to retrieve it from the vault so that you can use it inside of the terraria or give it to Tariko. Items stored within the vault are divided into categories. Use the left and right on the d-pad L1 or R1 to toggle through the item category. You access the vault by approaching it and pressing triangle. Not only that, you can also access it anywhere in your home screen by pressing R2. Handy, huh? Huh, huh. <laughs> another day, another opportunity <clears throat> on Mars. Ooh, look at the map. Training grounds, practice area, practice moving around, learn handy techniques for exploration. Depart to the wasteland. I guess we'll do everything. The Pet Nanny is a personal health diagnostic app. I used to remotely report on Tariko's health while the robot is out on expedition. It can be used to check her vitals and contamination rate, as well as to feed, clean, and play with her. The heart symbols at the top of Pet Nanny represent Tariko's health. Her health slowly depletes when the robot is out on expedition. Tariko is more likely to fall ill at low health. So try to return quickly. Feeding Tariko directly in the terrarium is only the only way to recover her health. <clears throat> Press the touchpad to open Pet Nanny while out on expeditions and make use of its functions. However, you won't have access to the food, clean, or play functions in the demo version of this game. Pet Nanny is programmed to provide an efficient way to return to the terrarium when out on expeditions. Use it whenever you want to return home quickly after fulfilling your activities. Battles are best fought one on one. If you encounter many hostiles in a room, run back to the corridor and defeat them one at a time. Yay! Craft a small plus E. Oh, we got to crawl the dungeon, I'd imagine. Oh no! More than one at a time. No, I'm gonna die. What do I do? What a bad tutorial. No, 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 get up, never surrender. Ah. I'm hurt. I can only heal if I go back to the terrarium. Ah, ah. Goodness. What am I to do? <clears throat> Yay, we are done. Next floor. What? Try to get the first hit. If there is one space between you and a foe, stay put and attack the empty space. The hustle will walk forward and you can get the first hit next turn. The turn leads combat. We'll probably level up and get the heal in a second. <clears throat> Next floor! Circle and X. Run in place. HP recovers faster if you race through turns. Use this technique to heal HP if there aren't any hostiles around. It burns through the end though, so watch out. Yay! The end is energy. Ah, a trap. No. Next floor. 
Uncover hidden traps by facing and attacking where you think that they might be. This can come in handy in monster houses and other rooms filled with traps. <clears throat> ah, no! Ah! Facing and attacking with each other. Oh. to the one I'm playing. Circle and X, okay. We would likely die if we run into any more traps. Ranged attacks can only be shot in direct lines and at 45 degree angles. Flipping side to side carefully can prevent a hostile attack from connecting. Ah! Is there traps here? Ah! A lot of good that helped, didn't they? Use the free aim pointer to locate distant hostiles. Press the left stick down to see if there are any hostiles directly above you. You can even throw items while checking out distant areas. Unknown item. Grenade! Junior Grunt, Gatekeeper. He's a machine with 40 HP at level 1. He has bubbles as a status effect. We're gonna throw a grenade. Uh, gotta be right here. Decreases every turn with a corrosive status effect. Shock gives you a chance of paralysis every turn. Lag can only move once every two turns. Ay! Caramba, we corrode it. HP every turn is gone. Twice in a row. So doubled up on, I suppose. How do we supposed to avoid the trap? Stock trap. So we're gonna get stuck no matter what. Leg trap. Next floor. Split. Direction of all actions is randomized. What if you throw an item? Sleep. Unable to move for multiple turns. Silence. Unable to use active skills. Blade. We have acquired a blade. Trigger glitch trap, but nothing happened. 
trigger glitch trap inflicted with glitch. Oh no, I can't move properly. Sleepy. Level up! Repair plus one, passive skill, increased HP, recovery of repair items by 30%. Battery low, passive skill! Reveal the location of items on the current floor on the minimap when the energy is 20% or lower. I've got, I want to repair and get HP. Next floor! Energy is running low! No! No! I'm contaminated! We picked up a shield! Power potion! Power potion! Power potion! Increases the amount of damage dealt. A blade, a common shield, immobility is infecting me. Ah! A teleporter trap. Goodness. Uh, at least we're at the end now, but I want... Maybe we shouldn't pick it up. Let's go to the next floor. Good luck. Uh, everything at once. A bar. Defense system, a thousand HP. Choose ourselves. All we can do is throw items as far as I can tell. How about the blade? Come to think of it, isn't this your first time coming home to the new terrarium? I ought to give you a quick briefing about how the wastelands work around here. The wastelands you're exploring were originally an auto-propagating shelter made by the humans in the past. Now that they're extinct, the shelter has been automatically propagating and transforming uncontrollably. That's why the lay of the land is different every time even though you're exploring the same place. Are you still following? Of course you are. That's my Robbie. Now on to the next part. As for the mechanism that allows you to return here after your expedition, shelters have a system in place to automatically retrieve objects that it deems as a waste it transports then to the nearest scrapyard for disposal. It appears as though our current location was once a greenhouse where vegetation was cultivated. Now this place is just being used by the shelter as a scrapyard. So whenever you're incapacitated or reach the end of the wasteland, the automatic disposal system activates and returns you here each and every time. Of course, the drawback is that refuse is passed through its disposal unit as a safety measure. So all of your upgrades and items are removed upon your return. 
This metal items still turn into usable resources, so you can make the most of them to upgrade and fill the terrarium with all sorts of special objects. That concludes today's lesson. Since you get resources even when incapacitated, doing so over and over again will help you collect what you need. Now record this data into your memory and good luck out there. <coughs>50% chance of being hastened for 20 turns upon defeating enemies if there are four or more enemies in the same room. That doesn't sound good. They're going to make us really slow for 20 turns? And every enemy we defeat? Ah, I chose the wrong one. Next floor, I accidentally chose the bomb damage increase. Energy to Energy decreases by one after every 10 turns. When your energy reaches zero, your HP will decrease every turn. This room's a maze. An easy maze. Next floor. Pick up items from the ground by stepping on them. Open the menu with triangle, select an item, and then press X to choose an action. We don't have any items. Yay, a two volt battery. It's a high capacity battery. Grants one full recharge of 100 energy. It's only slightly contaminated. <clears throat> Dash over an item to step by without picking it up. 
while standing on an item, it will show up in the item menu with a special icon. Stepped on toolkit. Standing on an item. Toolkit. Grenade. This great this this grenade is highly contaminated. Due to that, the damage dealt is increased and it inflicts a status effect. A weapon once used by humans deals serious damage to 50 and inflicts a boost. A toolkit is an updated toolkit with an improved repair rate. Restore 60 HP. Let's go. <coughs> Make yourself stronger by equipping weapons, shields, and mods. Select equipment in the item menu and press the X to equip it. They're gonna give us some equipment. Yay, a common shield. X. Equip. Yay. Critical mod. Oh boy. 100% critical hit rate increase. Yay! But the regular hit rate decreases. No. Equip. Equip. Blade! I threw this guy in the earlier part. I threw it at a man. A robot. We get to equip it! Yay! Let's go! Weapons come with random skills. Some have active skills that can be used with a button press. What are, We have a one on the button square at the bottom center of the screen. It looks like a super thrust. You got to hold L1 and press Square, it's called a slash. It costs 10 energy. Let's get closer first. Wow! He's dead! Level up! Extra charge, a, a two star passive skill that gives us a 20% chance of keeping batteries after use. Bomb boost 2, increase bomb damage by 50%. That's a 3 star mod that upgrades our previous one, so I'll take that. Yay! Let's roar. Increase your weapon's mastery by defeating hostiles. Mastery level increases the number of skills assigned to your equipment and carries over after each exploration. Yay! Boom! Can I turn... That must just be the blade by itself. Level up! Stabby power 1! Increase critical damage by 20%! One star passive skill. Arch Mastery 2 is a passive three star skill that increases active skill damage by 30%. We'll take that. Next floor. When your HP reaches zero, Either due to a hostile's attack or because you're out of energy, your expedition will end. You will return to the terrarium. Boss fight! So we have... we got power potion, damage, uh, source energy, toolkit. Use that. Oh, we've got two dodge. Oh, no. Let 
we need to heal as soon as possible. With the toolkit. Now we're dead. We're dead, 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 dead. Oh, Robbie, welcome back. We need to learn. Can't even beat the tutorial. We still cannot craft anything. I don't see how it's doing what it said about recycling. You even got nothing. Well, let's try to go to this area where humans gathered and lived. People lived tough lives and lacked resources, always defending against contaminated mycelium. Mycelium is like dirt that mushrooms grow in. Oh no, we're getting attacked! Hey, toolkit! Ah! Let me get out of here. What is this? Nitrous booster! Yay! Ex next door, no. Door right here. Hey, there's something over here. <clears throat> ah. Level up. Repair plus one. A one star passive skill that increases HP of repair items by 30%. Stabby Power 1, a passive 1 star skill that increases critical damage bonus by 20%. Go with Repair Plus 1. No! No! Is that a hole? I'm not gonna find out. Next floor. Come here, Sleeping Beauty. First hit. We could use the small key though. We've only got 30 HP and the toolkit restores 60. Wow! Nitrous booster allows the user to take an extra turn before the enemy. Ah! We might have to use this overly powerful healing item. Nothing in here. No more. Where's the teleporter? Oh, this is crap. The right. Ah! No! Sneaky. Toolkit one. This one should heal us for heals us for thirty. That's exactly what we need. Yay!
Expedition complete. There's another expedition in the books. When you return to the home base after an expedition, all items in your are converted into resources. Most of the items are converted into general resources, while other items such as quest objectives are turned into special resources. The amount of resources elements that resource elements that an item will be converted into are found at the bottom of the item's description. Collecting 100 elements amounts to one general resource. Resource conversion occurs regardless of whether you return to your base voluntarily or due to incapacitation. Being incapacitated will not reduce the number of resources obtained. Don't worry about incapacitation as you'll con continue to collect plenty of resources. In fact, feel free to die 100, even 200 times. It's no big deal. We were playing the wrong levels. That's why we didn't get any resources. We still can't craft anything. Let's try that again. He's got to go. Ah! Sneaky! We gotta level up upgrade! I'm going to choose a two star attack boost by two. <clears throat> Yay, a guard portion. We will receive 50% less damage. We will increase our energy drain rate and it lasts for one layer. <clears throat> Let's use it. We've got a toolkit. News sprayer, what is that? Inflict sleep on all foes for 10 turns. Inflict sleep upon all foes in the room. Wow. No. Where is the ah, teleporter? So the boost helped a lot. <clears throat> Next floor. We got special items and a sleeper. Ah! He's awake now. Dead. Grenade. Hanging lantern. If you take this back home, you will be able to craft a hanging lantern. It's a blueprint. I'm getting lost. I'm glad there's a map. Ah! Big spider guy, die! A leaky battery? A leaky battery recovers 30 energy and it inflicts, inflicts a random status effect because it's highly contaminated. Next floor. Oh wow, he's two flavors. Level up. 
I'm going to choose increased critical damage by 20%, the one star savvy power. Ah! We could use some, a little health here. We got another leaky battery. Rest toolkit restoring 30 HP. We can hold 35 now. <clears throat> Yay! No! Go away! Yay! Hooray! I see you. Power potion. Energy running low. This leaky battery isn't contaminated, so maybe we won't get a bad status effect. I'm losing it. Inflicted with corrode. No. It's gone. This nitrous booster. Guard potion. I think we're done here. Next floor. What is this? A light shield. Yay! I'm putting it on right now. Can we equip the grenade? No. Smooth spray? No. Any lantern? No. No. Ah. Yay. No. No. There's a battery. A one volt. One wall battery recovers 50 energy. We might as well use it. Yay! Ah! Level up! Arch Mastery Level 1 is a passive one star skill that increases active skill damage by 20%. Charge plus one is a passive one star skill that increases energy recovery of all battery items by 20%. <clears throat> I think we'll choose Arch Master. I don't think we'll be using it much more battery. Surely we will die first. No! Yay! Healing item. What can we use to heal? I think we use the nitrous booster. It gives us an extra turn before the enemy. And uh, the guard potion lowers damage received by 25%. I think we'll use that. Oh, that was a waste. We're done now. Wasted it. <clears throat> Yay, we can make one of our items. Craft small plushie. Yay. Some craftable items have bonuses attached to them. These bonuses activate when items are crafted for the first time and their effects are permanent. Some bonuses can power up the robot, so try crafting for bonuses when enemies feel too strong for you. Hmm. 
We can craft anything. We can craft a hanging lantern. Yay! It will give us a base defense of plus one. I am doing it. Yay. Let's go see our new house, our new stuff. Where I am this? Where is my lantern? Oh my goodness! What is wrong with your eye? Well, that's all I'm going to play for the game. Thank you for watching.